Yo, what up guys and welcome back to another one. What a lovely morning. It is 6 a.m. and uh, it is beautiful outside. It's not 100 degrees. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. I've been getting up really early in the mornings and scouting pigeon. Uh, you guys better be expecting some amazing pigeon hunts to come. I promised you guys um, when the wheat got cut that a lot of these city birds were going to start busting out of town to find food. And they are. They are gathering hard. I mean, gathering up in these hunts. I can't wait. I really can't. But we do need to feed the pigeons today. Figured we would do that together. This is my uh, concoction I got going on here. We get some beans. There we go. We get some Milo. We need to actually go get more Milo. I'm pretty much almost out. And then we throw some wheat in there. That's a pretty good little ration if I do say so myself. That's some nummy stuff. We're starting to pair the pigeons up. So I've been feeding them real early in the morning, letting them get their water and their food in them. And then I pair them up for a handful of hours during the day. It's just so hot that I don't want to pair them up and keep them away from their food and their water. I could put food and water dishes in here in the pairing cages, but they're not used to actually fully eating out of a bowl or anything yet so it's just hot I don't want to I don't want to bother them too much don't be trying to do anything crazy now you know how these birds are a lot of times I just open it up about that far whoa easy easy these birds are not near tame enough yet they still want to dart out the uh, out the door on me but uh, we're going to let them eat, drink, and uh, we're going to head to the truck stop. I have a trap, the old spring trap. We're going to reset it in a whole different location. Set a trap where we never have over at the truck stop because there are minimum, minimum birds going to the truck stop now. Uh, and it's due to, hey, leave them alone. Leave that cat alone. Fred, leave them alone. Here, Fred, here. Henri dogs you're waking up the whole neighborhood dude sit you need to be quiet and don't be chasing them kitty cats but like i was saying the truck stop minimal birds there due to the wheat being cut all the birds are going out the field to eat now but there's a handful of birds and they want one little spot in particular and it's under a trailer because there's shade a lot of you know that kansas and these central states lately have just been a scorcher over 100 degrees the last handful of days these pigeons they want some shade all right we are here at the truck stop it's a little loud sorry but as you can tell in between to these two trailers look at that pile of wheat right there the pigeons have been loving this pile in particular and a big reason is it's because they have a lot of shade in the midday once the sun goes over to the south a little bit they got a lot of shade right here so this is what I'm thinking the move for today's trapping extravaganza is going to be. We're going to set it. Now one thing I'm worried about is that there's too much wheat here in particular, that the pile's too big. Uh, but this spring trap is extremely sensitive. I mean, really sensitive. It's actually so sensitive it's hard to set. Yep, I got to put the camera down. This spring trap is no joke though. It's so sensitive that uh, all they got to do is really just bump it. We're going to bury it a little bit in there. We're going to get some, put it on their plate. Kind of clean up the edges, push these edges in so they have to stand on the trap. That might be a good idea. I didn't bring my shovel today, darn it but clean up these edges so they have to step on that trap. Now, I'm also gonna set it really, really light, so it's literally just gonna be a little hairpin trigger. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, I'd like to hide it just a little more, if we can. Scoot these piles in. All about when you're pigeon trapping, guys, I'm not kidding you, details matter. Uh, pulling these edges in like this, forcing them to the trap, really, I mean, you're talking about the difference of trapping them or not trapping them. 
gotta eliminate options but uh i'm still worried that pile is very very large for that trap so see if we get one over here today hey man watch out you about got hit by the door dude <laughs> like hey dad hey hey what are you doing you want to go uh take me to the pond or play with me or something i know dude so uh the past two days actually it's been the past three days you wouldn't believe it and i've tried hurrying inside and grabbing my camera and uh, i haven't had any luck uh, i guess it's yesterday i didn't see him but two days in a row me and the kids were here in the pool just swimming and that's why it took me so long i couldn't get in there to get my camera so the pigeon we lost he flew out and he flew that way well he was raised in a loft he was born in a loft raised in a loft no, he's not a homer. He's still like a feral pigeon, but he was born in a loft. So that's where he wants to be as a loft. He just didn't know any better when he escaped. He came back and he's been flying. When he comes back, he flies in big circles. And then over here beyond my big evergreen trees on the other side, there is a huge cottonwood tree that I think he might be staying in. It looks like he landed there the last time I seen him. Uh, insane. He, he's extremely noticeable obviously and he only flies treetop height that's all because he don't know any better and being born in a loft he probably doesn't even really know about hawks or falcons or anything like that you know predator animals because he's never had to worry about them so he's probably staying in the trees i seen him the first time i was like you gotta be kidding me he's sticking around but it makes sense he's he's not a wild pigeon you know what i mean he wants to come back but we have this big tree here, and that is a problem. If this loft would have been like over here, not under a tree, I bet you he'd come back and go in that sucker. What do I need to do about that? Uh, like I said, I didn't see him yesterday. That was the first day I didn't see him, but two days before, back-to-back -back days, I seen him. See, see that tall cottonwood right there? It's a big tree. But here we are, we're back here by these tall cottonwood trees. And I've came back here a couple times and really looked for them. Because as you can tell, they're just massive. And I've seen them go to them two times. So, if you guys have any tips how I can maybe lure him down, get him caught again. I'm literally thinking about just building like a, I don't know, a little platform out here and putting... Um, probably the spring trap on it or something and trying to trap him with the spring trap like right here this nice little dead area that's where we had a good old slip and slide yeah wore the grass out i'm thinking about putting a trap there with some food what do you guys think what do you what, what should i do ah well we are here at the truck stop and like i said we're gonna have to find us some new spots to trap check out what they did here so i get what i did it's a good deal uh it'll give us a fresh start to trapping this is uh, all those big salt piles and the wheat piles and then way up there all of the bean piles and corn piles oh yeah they spread it all out which is good because right now there are literally zero pigeons coming to the truck stop for the last week there have not been any pigeons whatsoever here there might be one or two literally one or two a day but that is it i'm in a debacle guys so uh the pigeons aren't going here you know there's some pretty pigeons that go here i've been trying to catch them we didn't get them um once it starts cooling down especially at night once it starts getting cold cool they're going to start populating here at the truck stop again. I do know that. And another thing is once it rains again, a really good rain, and we get a good population of all them water puddles that used to be here, like that big one that used to be here. If there's water here as well as the food, even right now during the heat, I think that they would be here still. But everything's dried up. There's no water sources here anymore. So them redoing the whole pile and all the feed and stuff that's good it'll give us a fresh start when the pigeons start really hitting here but like i said i'm in a debacle i got permission to hunt the field that these pigeons are going to yeah so 
Um, I would say during winter this thing is going to load up. There's going to be a lot of pigeons that come that we haven't even tried trapping, that we haven't even seen here all summer. So that being said, should I hunt the pigeons? It's only probably about 30 to 50 of them at most. Probably 20 to 30 to be quite honest. Uh, maybe we hunt them and just try to shoot the pretty ones. So drop a comment down below. I know you guys are probably like, why would you shoot the pigeons that you want to be trapping? They are done coming here for quite some time. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a month, I bet, until they start congregating here again. For sure, until it rains again, is they're not gonna be around, guys. So, we're gonna have to get new permissions on top of buildings in town. That's one of my first goals. And then the second decision is, do I hunt these birds? So you guys gotta let me know down in the comment section below. I greatly appreciate it. Made some good videos here this summer, but I think it's, uh, I think she's about done. I think the truck stop is done for the summertime at least. Maybe with rain, it'll fire up again. But I'm probably just gonna go ahead and take my traps home. We have to find a new spot. So be expecting, guys, new spots. I'm excited. I already got permission on one new spot in town. So there's gonna be some epic, epic videos to come. I know it's sad the truck stop is at a standstill right now, but we got some epic videos coming, boys. So stick around for the videos to come. You guys don't want to miss them. Subscribe if you haven't because we're coming at you darn near daily. Five to six videos a week. But thank you guys for all your support. I greatly appreciate you all so much. Without you guys, I couldn't be out here doing these videos. I appreciate it, guys, honestly. But we'll see you on the next one. Pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real